right, welcome to Alaska afternoon, Monday afternoon card breaks here with Bad Yorkie Card Breaks. Appreciate y'all uh, taking time out of your day to show up. Uh, this is going to be awesome. A little mid -day, mid Monday break. Beautiful weather here in Alaska today. Oh, peace. Partly cloudy, sunny otherwise. Uh, we got a we got a four boxer on the table right now. Super super excited about that. Two other breaks open right now. We obviously got the monster that's working its way closed, and then we got this one that just launched this morning. It's a four boxer. It's our standard three boxer. Plus, I threw in an eighteen nineteen box of black diamond in there as well. That's gonna be a cool one. Those boxes so far have been pretty great for us uh, here at, in the group. So we tossed in a extra box there of uh, 1819 Black Diamond. Everybody should appreciate it. Um, looking forward to it. Let me get this camera centered a little better. There we go. Right above it. So there we go. All right. Rock and roll. Give me a thumbs up. You can hear me in the stream chat, and we'll get the roster ready and get started. All right, likes, just need a thumbs up that you can hear me and we'll get going. I posted up a, uh, a big old long post about an hour ago to the group. Um, hopefully everybody gets a chance to take a look at it. Um, it's nothing nothing crazy. It's uh, just, just, just nothing changes, uh, just some updates. And I kind of felt like I owed you guys a uh, just like an update on where we're at with the group now that we crested north of, we're getting close to 250 members in this group right now. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, but I wanted to kind of just uh, tune up some stuff a little bit, uh, let you know where we're at, um, kind of keeping track of the shipping situation. And with Canada, it's just everything going to Canada, even stuff coming from Canada is absolutely crazy right now. Um, so we're doing our absolute best. We get every, we're going to get everything out from here as fast as possible to do our part in cutting down on the delay and keep you, uh, the folks on, on the Canadian or other, other side of the Canadian border uh, involved in this group. Um, Unfortunately, like I've said before, we just don't have any. Uh, we don't. We don't have any. Um, we don't. We don't have any influence over the Canadian Post or the Post Office after it leaves. Uh, leaves our shipping here. Um, yeah, friends and family. So uh, we posted that, um, and we just we're just kind of we're tr trying to keep it as streamlined as possible. And we're asking that if you now that some of you have been in the group for multiple breaks and uh, you've kind of gone through. Uh, almost a vetting process um, for yourself with us, you know, to, uh, as your card breaker. Uh, hopefully you guys are on board with it, but if you send it friends and family, you don't pay any fees and we don't pay any fees. Um, and also it's a lot easier for us to manage on the accounting side. Um, and uh, yeah, it basically you can go in and you can do two different types of, uh, of, of send money and PayPal. You can do one that's uh, to friends and family, which is just a straight up, uh, you know, checking or whatever it is, you can do it from a car. You can do it. Uh, uh, we just don't pay the fees, and you guys don't. I don't think you pay the fees uh, as well, unless you use like a. There might be a small fee if you use a credit card. I don't know, um, but it keeps us at least on our side keeps us from having to pay the fees, and it's much easier to do the accounting uh, and bookkeeping on our side when it's sent friends and family. Um, the other option is goods and services, which is awesome. Uh, and I, I totally, totally uh, appreciate anybody that uses it because it's it's uh, it's legitimate regardless. Uh, but what it does is um, it's it's essentially designed for people to pay for an actual tangible item. Um, so uh, if you if you can't, I mean they're, they're, that's how they that's how they're make PayPal's making a ton of money off of being PayPal. Um, and then uh, what it also does it also gives you all. I guess it would be like. Uh, I mean, I use it all the time for eBay because that's how eBay does it. So basically, I'm paying for goods, goods and services. Um, but you know, uh, it allows you to also go back and uh, you know, with normal purchases for actual items. Because I mean, essentially, the group here, what you're buying is the opportunity to hit a card, not the card itself or cards themselves. You're buying the opportunity to go in that team. That's technically what you're what you're purchasing uh, when you buy into a break. Um, so I don't have a tangible item for you per se, 
uh, based off of your, your payment. Um, we just have a, essentially a trust relationship established between you and, uh, and, and, our, and our, um, our family here that if you buy that opportunity and that opportunity is successful and during the break, we will then provide you, a comp you know, basically the compensation or like a gift to go along with it. Um, yeah, kind of like a social group, essentially. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, it cuts down the fees and also does a little bit, a little bit for us on the accounting side uh, come the end of the year, uh, which is which is fantastic. Um, that's what we're trying to trying to prevent. Um, all right. Let's see. Calgary. Yeah, I think I well, you Calgary, you know, Edmonton and Calgary and uh, Alberta, you all are somewhat close to us. I'm wondering if there's just a there's a different uh, stream for. Uh, mail leaving here to go pretty much through maybe a hub or some sort, uh, northern hub, um, through Cal through Calgary or Alberta uh, that that provide you uh, shipping a little faster. Um, like I said, the only way I can I can absolutely uh, guarantee it'll be there faster is if we ship it via Express Post, which is Canadian Post straight out here out of Anchorage, which we do. Uh, for some of our group members um, who have larger, you know, uh, cards that your card quantity that won't fit in a mailer or a high value card, we'll send via the express post. So we don't charge you for any of the shipping regardless. Um, but if you guys are finding yourself routinely in uh, multiple breaks, because we're doing between, you know, six, seven and ten breaks a week right now. If you find yourself routinely in that in, in our breaks and you can afford to wait a week to let us wait a week before we ship uh as you stockpile cards here once we get to a point where i can put them in a small box and ship them that way you know instead of me sending you three or four mailers that are going to take three to four weeks to get to you you just wait a week on the front side and then i send it via express post which costs us the same versus sending you five or six different mailers um we don't charge you another dime and then you have your stuff in three to five days and it's it's guaranteed uh it's almost like priority mail but Canadian, your U.S. to Canadian version. All right, well, let's get going on this break, though. How about that? All right, here we go. Here's your roster read for uh, 168. Ducks and Coyotes go to the mini. Bruins go to Kevin B. Buffalo Sabres go to Corey Rodriguez. Aaron Ford's got Flames and Hurricanes. Blackhawks going to Larry Resch. Avalanche go to Nathan DeGagne. Blue Jackets and Stars go to the mini. Uh, we've got the Red Wings. Oilers go to Nathan DeGagne. Panthers go to the mini. Kings go to Aaron Ford. Wild go to the Mini. Canadians go to Philippe Nascimento. We've got the Preds. Devils go to Larry Resch. Islanders go to the Mini. Rangers go to Philippe Nascimento. Senators go to Curtis Robinson. Flyers go to Aaron Ford. Penguins go to Ryan MacArthur. Sharks go to the Mini. Blues go to Kevin B. Lightning and the Leaves go to Nick Serino. The Nucks go to Ryan MacArthur. Knights go to Philippe Nascimento. Capitals go to Nick Serino. And the Jets go to Nathan Degagne. All right, and in the Mini tonight, we've got eight teams. Ducks, Coyotes, Blue Jackets, Stars, Panthers, Wild, Islanders, and Sharks. And the mini roster, as it reads, is as follows. Serial number one, Nathan Degagne, two, Philip Nascimento, three and four, Corey Rodriguez. Ryan MacArthur has five, Philippe Nascimento has six, Ryan MacArthur has seven, eight, nine, and zero. And the no serial number slot for any of those eight teams goes to Nathan Degagne. So we'll pause for 15 seconds, and then we're going to get started with a box of game used. All right, let's see what we can get going. I think Jenny's upstairs making lunch right now. So she's making lunch. I'm going to open the cards for you guys. Aiden is, uh, what, his hockey camp actually wraps up about, what, 20, 25 minutes ago, but he's going straight over to a friend's house. Wonderful life of a nine-year-old with no worries in the world right now. Uh, one of his ho hockey player teammates is going straight over. That's a heavy pack. Uh, going straight over to the friend's house. So we did not have to go pick him up. So he will not be joining us in physical in physicality today uh, for this card break. But don't worry, we've got two more card breaks open right now. The little throwback uh, rookie holdover mixer, we called it. And then we've got uh, the monster. That monster, man, that's going to be cool. we got to close that one out because I want to open that up. i got to get my, get my grip strengtheners going. Again. I played hockey this morning, so my hands are smoked right now. Uh, get those grips, get a grip strengthener out and get ready for that break. That's going to be such a good one. Such a good one. All right, folks, here we go. 
Break 168 on the table. First card coming up right now. Let's see who it is. Right off the bat, it's a Nicholas Haig. 007 out of 117 going to Vegas. Philippe Nascimento is on the board. Philippe Nascimento. There you go. It's authentic rookie. 007 out of 117. Oh, might be some parallel action going on in that card. Beautiful. Got sliced and diced open into a one or 75 point there. Philippe Nascimento on the board. Next up. Coming out right now is a Mark Andre Fleury. There's another Vegas Gold Knight hit. Two in a row, 167 out of 275. Math. Mark Andre Fleury. I was actually just watching a video this morning while I was knocking out some other work after I got back from playing hockey. About uh, there's a guy on there that does hockey research. He's got a YouTube channel and he was ranking the top uh, 20 draft picks of the, of, uh, the top uh, 20 draft tra top. Top first round, the, the past 20 years of first round draft picks. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know why it's hard, so hard to say. Uh, and uh, going through and basically racking them like duds, it's kind of good, you know, all star, Hall of Fame capability, all that stuff. It was a neat video. I believe, I believe Mark Andre Fleury was there. I don't remember though. All right, coming up right now. How about, oh my goodness, John Gibson, tricolor auto. Uh, out of 15, that's going to Philippe Nascimento as well. That's number two out of 15, John Gibson. That is a big-time card right there. Hits in the mini because nobody wanted the Ducks. Philippe Nascimento basically taking this whole box right now. Look at that, John Gibson out of 15. Tricolor patch auto. That is a beautiful card. Outstanding. Two of 15 goes to the mini, and it goes to Philippe Nascimento. That is a heavy-duty card right there coming out of game used. So Philippe Nascimento cleaning house on this box so far. Let's see if it changes. And we got the Capitals are on the board for with an OV jersey card. SP game used. That's going to Nick Serino. Alexander Ovechkin. You know he was on that list of top 20. OV. Ovi was in there, and he was uh, ranked as a Hall of Famer. Obviously, he's done great work for the Caps. Um, well north of a 700 goal club right now. Probably gonna, probably gonna be into the 800s here soon, uh, within the next season or two, or a couple seasons. Probably not next season. But what you got going on there, a sandwich. Yep. Cool. Ovechkin coming out. There you go. What's the number? What's the number, Ryan, you asked what's the number, like zero number? It's number two out of 15. Zero two out of 15 for that John Gibson. The number for the OV, OV has no number. <clears throat> All right, next up right now, how about a skills competition uh, for Atkinson and Jones? And Blue Jackets are in the mini. And that's a no serial numbered card, which pushes to the mini, which goes to Nathan Degagne. All right, Nathan Degagne picking up a mini hit. There we go. He's rolling. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can squeeze this into a 70. Yeah, it's a nice, nice, good, nice fit with a 75. All right. Yeah, nice one. All right, last card coming out. The first box of game used right now is going to be for the Jets. Nathan Degagne again. Jets like Wheeler jersey card. So a couple of real good choices uh, in, in team selections today for a few of our group members on this first box. Blake Wheeler, gold foil jersey card for the Jets. All right. Dual all-star skills jersey card. Alex Ovechkin jersey card. Marc-Andre Fleury and a Nicholas Hag parallel. And then we got this beautiful John Gibson. Numbered. 0 2 out of 15 for number 36, John Gibson. Tricolor premium patch with his autograph uh, there on the card as well. All right, next up, next box. You want your sandwich? The dog is begging. Bad, original Bad Yorkie is sitting next to us right now and he is begging for Jenny's sandwich. Here we go. Next 
used up. Out hot right now. Oh, bless you, baby. That was weird. Another one. Pepper on that sandwich? No pepper. Weird because it's not getting the sandwich. <laughs> All right. Next six cards coming out on the table right now. All right. Don't forget the two open breaks we have right now if you want to jump right back in it. Here we go. Hey, there's another Ovechkin for Nick Serino. There's the non-Jersey variant to go with your Jersey variant. 89 out of 114. little parallel action. That's pretty cool. I kind of like when that happens. When we pull out the same break, we pull the, uh, pull the, uh, the, the bases and then the parallels and the jerseys and the jersey parallels, all that stuff to go. And you're going to have, there's, there's two of the five available for that card in game use right now, and you're getting both of them. Next up. We got a Ryan Kuffner, 116 out of 296 for the Red Wings. I believe we have the Red Wings. So that'll stay here in Alaska with us. Authentic rookie action. Beautiful. All right, next up, what do we got? Who's got the Hurricanes? Aaron Ford. Aaron Ford's got it for Martin Neckes. Martin Eckes, DDM, letter E, 26 of 35. Aaron Ford takes one home. Draft A mark, Neckes. Uh, 17, 2017 draft, number 12th pick overall. DDM for Aaron Ford. That wrapped up for you. Beautiful. Very nice. All right. Good. Take a break. Yeah, head back up. Cool. Next up, hey, Philip Zadina uh, for the Red Wings. 535 out of 599. A little Philip Zadina gold foil jersey card. That is, uh, that's us. Nobody wanted to take the Red Wings, so we snatched them up well, at the same time we, we grabbed the Predators last night trying to kick this break along, get it, get it opened, and uh, nobody wanted the Red Wings this time. Steve Bazo's pursuing other Red Wings cards right now. Like, I think he was, he's still looking for a, I think he's looking for a D or something. He got like five out of the six letters he wanted. He's oh, just cool. looking for one more. Um, but yeah, so we haven't, a resident Red Wings expert has not been grabbing the Red Wings lately, but there's one for Ryan O'Reilly for the Blues going to Kevin B. MVP from last year's Stanley Cup. Jersey card for Ryan O'Reilly from the All-Star Skills Competition 2019. All right. Next card. Sleeved up for you. That in it. Some pro. And last one coming out of game use before we move on to SPX is going to be Nikita Gutsev, Jersey card, authentic rookie gold foil, 53 of 599 for the New Jersey Devils. Larry Resch. Larry Resch takes the hit on that one. Belongs to Mr. Larry Resch. And I don't know if I told everybody, but all mail has shipped. As of this moment, everything current from the past four or five days, basically any cards that were left here before this break are on their way to you right now. So I know I, I, that triggered my memory because Larry Resch has a big, uh, a big package coming to him here in the next couple days. Larry, you're, I don't know if Larry's watching or not, but Larry's package is coming via priority mail. So you'll see it in two to three days. Oops, we got to keep the tripod. There we go. Nikita Gutsev jersey card. Ryan O'Reilly jersey card. Zadina jersey card. Martin Neckes. Draft A Marks. Huffner. Uh, authentic rookie base. And OV parallel base. Cool. Next up, SPX. How are we doing over there? When was the last break that Zadina hasn't made an appearance? I don't know. That's kind of why uh, I was, I'm so surprised that that the Red Wings don't get snatched up right away because they're such a good value. They're just a, a good value bet in these cards this year between Zadina, Hirose, and a few others. I mean, uh, the, the Giovanni or whatever his name is as well. Uh, I mean, they just, they're always in the breaks. Um, and it, they're usually pretty, pretty reasonably priced as well. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since Zadina has not been in one of our breaks. <sighs> I think that's how Steve got so topped off on all his Zadina collection this year was uh, was he hit so many Zadina cards with us over that first 
month and month and a half he was with us. And then, uh, yeah, he filled up his tank and didn't need any more. So here we go. First card coming out of SPX is going to be Jonathan Drulin for the Habs. Philippe Nascimento. 135 out of 149. Jonathan Drulin for the Habs. Four cards in these boxes, each in their own individual pack. Very cool. Grab some more. Let's go. It's a little too big for it. Next up, coming out right now, is going to be Are you okay over there. Let's see what we got. Looks like maybe a possibly little shadow box action. Shadow box rookies for Nick Suzuki. There's another one for Philippe Nascimento. Nick Suzuki shadow box rookie. There you go. Suzuki, all his cards are smoking hot right now. Snatched up like crazy. I think that's mainly what people are going after when they're chasing the Habs with us. Suzuki rookies. There's a shadow box right there. Another box of 180s. And then we'll get going. Halfway done with the, the first box of SPX for break 168. See what this one has in store for us. It's maybe a gold rookie, gold something, gold something. Oh, it's a veteran, Dylan Larkin. That's us, huh? 104 out of 199, Dylan Larkin, veteran gold foil coming out. That's interesting. I didn't expect that to come out of this break. Yeah, see what I mean about the the Red Wings? They they're just present. <laughs> they're present in these breaks this year. Uh, always a good value bet. That's why we snatched them up. Just kind of one, one to help move things along, but uh, two, yeah, Dylan Larkin. Dylan Larkin, gold foiled white jersey card hanging out in this, uh, hanging out in the break tonight, or this afternoon, because it's just barely cresting morning for us. This is a heavy, heavy pack. I wonder what could possibly be in it. Oh, uh-oh, we might have a little pride of a nation action going on. Uh, nope, it's Black Obsidian. Black Lustrous. Rookie, Texier for the Blue Jackets. Alexander Texier. Thought maybe it was a pride of a nation, but it's not. The Black Lustrous Rookie for the Blue Jackets. And the Blue Jackets go to the mini, and it is serial number 125 out of 125. Wow. You got a final run hit there, buddy. Ryan MacArthur. Look at that premium tricolor patch on there. 125 out of 125 for Mr. 52, Alexander Texier. That's a beautiful card, and you got the last print run on that. Very nice for the five slot in the mini. Let's see if we can get that slid in there. That is a thick card. Very thick card. Absolutely beautiful. There you go. That makes the mini worth it. That's a beautiful card. A last print run. 125 out of 20, 125. This explains. It's almost, it's almost too big to fit in a 180. It's weird. I don't know why. Let's try this. Let's see again. That's interesting. This is it's a 180 card, but it's a thick card. I'm not gonna force it, but I am gonna figure out why it's it does not want to. We might have to put this. I might have got some 260s over there. I might have to put that in a 260 Yeah. Because that is uh I think it's that patch. The patch is so thick with that stitching, uh, that it's just it's almost like it's like the card is just thick. It's a, that's a thick card. I mean it's more than 180, so I'm gonna probably throw in a probably throw in a team bag and then slip it in a 260 to ship to you. That way we don't have to fight it into a 180. That's a beautiful card. Yeah, it is a juicy patch. <clears throat> All right, so Druin, Suzuki, Larkin, and Texier. Beautiful. All right. Get rid of that decoy and let's cut open. The last box, box number two of SPX for this particular break. Let me know if you guys like this format with a little two and two action. We can mix it up and do it with another group of cards too. Uh, but basically anything Upper Deck offers right now, we've got in stock. So we can do two and twos elsewise, or we can do more SPX and more game used. Um, yeah, or we can do two SPX and two Black Diamond. We can, we can do just about anything you guys want. I just need to know. You gotta tell me what you want.
That's all I ask is that you guys give me the feedback and say, hey, I want something different. One of our group members uh, yesterday, I believe, and I think he's actually watching this break right now. I'm not going to say who he is, but yeah, he is watching this break. I see his name up there. Um, talked to us yesterday about ice and why we weren't doing it. And I explained why we weren't doing it and what my personal thoughts on it. And we went back and forth uh, constructively about it and uh, kind of came to this resolution that, yeah, let's, let's put it in the group and see what happens. I wasn't, I'm not completely sold on it or wasn't completely sold on it as of yesterday. Um, I actually went and jumped in somebody else's break last night, uh, thinking it was going to close, but it didn't. That had, uh, had some ice in it. Cause I wanted to see for firsthand, uh, what was coming, but Hey, we talked about it and it's, uh, it's something I think you guys, we, you know, after a few of us had talked about it, um, and, uh, you know, ice is coming. Ice, uh, ice will be here tomorrow. It is on its way. So we got that. And it looks like we got a little, little script action going on. Who is it? Oh, Bertuzzi. Wow. Red Wings are ever present in this break, aren't they? There's a Bertuzzi superscript. Holy smokes. Dang. Man, I'm kind of kind of feeling the Red Wings right now. Now I gotta grab some 130s. That's another thick card. Red Wings are all over this break. Can't get the Preds to show up. Yeah, Authentic is, uh, don't know if Authentic's gonna happen. And here's why. Can we get it? Yes, I could. Did we do it? Yes, we did. We did a master of it. Uh, it takes forever to break. Uh, which I'm fine with um, for a very, very low hit count uh, item. And then on top of that, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the prices for the hobby boxes of Authentic have gotten gouged through the roof right now. So even uh, when I'm out negotiating for, for hobby boxes for you guys, um, yeah, right now we would be paying almost 50% more for the hobby boxes of SP Authentic right now, because there's there's not many left and nobody nobody was, the guy, I don't know, nobody was tracking that they would need that many uh, this year. Um, and then, uh, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of a hard cost to, to all of a sudden say, hey, you know, we got to, for, for such a, a product that's like 93% base cards to jack up the cost of the group. And uh, yeah, for personals, absolutely. We can do personals, absolutely. We can do personals of Authentic all day long because the personals all include uh priority mail shipping for you guys um individually and we just like doing those for you i mean there's the 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 the, the price won't change on that um but everybody everywhere i've looked for sp authentic because i do check uh, every time i i call it an order for our with our distributors or uh looking around on some of the websites where we've picked up random boxes of cards for people before like the prices are through the roof for sba right now and i think that's because everybody's just running out I mean, we're seeing places that had it when it was in the beginning between $95 and $104 a box. Now $149 is about the average price. And I just don't, I just don't see that being necessary for that box of cards. Not from what I saw after opening up. Uh, Jimmy, I, what, what, what I'd open up to? A, a master? A, plus, a master plus at least another inner of, uh, of, um, of, of personals. So... Yeah, here's our shadow box rookie for Adam Fox for the Rangers. There we go. Fleet Massimento taking the Rangers, and he picked up an Adam Fox shadow box rookie. Beautiful. Adam Fox, fantastic player. Fantastic breakout rookie this year for, uh, for the Rangers. Playing with Panarin. A few others. Spaced out a little better. There we go. All right. Decoy and garbage. And second to last pack. Here we go. It's going to be a rookie card. Who's it going to be, though? Who's it going to be, and what's the card going to have? There's a gold foil rookie. Nick Suzuki again hits. Fleet Nascimento with the Canadians. Very nice. Fleet Nascimento taking home a mountain of cards from this break. But he's got a lot of teams, so that is spreading out those odds thin. Making sure he's going to take some cards out of this one. Last card for this break. Here we go. Let's see, hold on. Go behind in and out. So probably. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sure Upper Deck's got some methodology behind it, but I just, it's just sad to see these card shops gouging up all this stuff, especially the basketball stuff. I mean, I get it. it and it's not the card shops most of the time. It's usually Upper Deck or Panini, especially for like, I mean, I, we don't have anything to do with basketball. I don't know even what basketball is. I just heard it's a sport. Um, but when, when I heard about that product, Panini Mosaic, and, and they were releasing it to the public on their website via a reverse auction starting at $1,000 a hobby box? Come on. Yeah, that's not good for the sport, for the hobby. It's not good. Anyway, here's your last card. Hey, we've got a rookie and we got a duck. There's a Max Jones. And that is a Max Jones Anaheim Ducks mini hit, 242 out of 299. Philippe Nascimento takes another one. Well, the serial numbers don't lie. Philippe Nascimento, that is a great break for you, buddy. Got a mountain of cards coming. So to review this last box, Max Jones, Silver Foil Rookie, Auto, Adam Fox, Nick Suzuki, and a Bertuzzi Superscript. All right. Thanks for joining us for this midday break, folks. We appreciate it. Um, don't forget, we got, uh, we got a whole bunch. We got that monster that's, again, pretty close to going to a mini. And then we got uh, the other one, which was, I believe, what is this? What was the other one? 170, the four boxer with two boxes of black diamond in it. So let's get those. Uh, I'm ready to open up those anytime you guys want to. Just let me know. Thanks for watching.